all right guys what is going on welcome back to another video so apologies there has been a bit of a delay in getting some of the videos out um it just took a couple of weeks off it was my other half's birthday and um yeah so just i took a few weeks off so apologies that there hasn't been very much posted but we're back at it today i've got ronan out with me you've seen ronan before many times down the channel there's always a bit of friendly competition whenever ronan's out um more so in his case but he made the mistake of making a competition i don't like to get beat um you probably see by the title i'm going to be using my own lures today so any of you that are on my social media you'll have seen um i've been making my own lures now for a while and i've been uh got them up on the web shop which is castnorthangland.com if you haven't go and check it out you would see all of the lures you're going to see them all to, in, in the video now majority of them the whole plan of attack is to get into the small backwaters most of the places are going to be flooded, so I've got a few lakes there that don't have any rivers or inlets and things like that, so they're going to be in good condition. And it's just really about getting out with these lures that I've uh, that I've made, testing them out, seeing what the pike think of them, all the different sort of crazy cookie colours that I've come up with. And um, yeah, they look fantastic. Um, I want to really, really want to see what they're like in the water. I'm sure they're going to be fine. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Okay, and we're here. Out of breath already. Um, the rain has sort of subsided a bit for what it was. It was proper hammering down on the way down the road. Most of the roads are flooded. So hopefully it stays like that for a while till we get going. But um, good opportunity to test the, the Mustang survival jacket. The waterproof jacket. So it's been going to get a good hammering today. So anyway, the lures. Here is the first one that I'm going to use. These are one of the handmade ones that I've been making. Um, I don't really know what to call this one colour-wise. I put it up on the on my Instagram asking for sort of suggestions on the colour. Somebody came up with smelt, which I think is quite good, so I'll probably stick with that. But they're 18 centimetres, um, 47 grams, perfect for, for the style of fishing that we're going to be doing today. And um, I'm really excited to actually see what they're like in the water. Um, going with a lighter colour just because it's still a bit the water's probably going to be a bit murky and yeah let's get going I'm going to have to put this down because every time I talk you're probably not going to hear me Ronan's already started hopefully he catches a fish we'll give him a bit of a head start and make it interesting ok I wasn't happy with the swimming action of that smelt one don't know what was going on with that bit of tinkering needed I think it's just I think it's the rig, not so much the lure. So I'm gonna try this natural roach one with the single stinger. See if it's any better. Yes, definitely a lot better than than the other one. Right, I'm in slightly deeper water this time, so I can give you a bit of a look at the at the lure and the movement of it. If you can see it, so it does nice movement, but it has to be a nice steady retrieve. I'll give them one thing they do cast really really well. Okay, on to the next one, try this one, see what it's like. This I've called this one sort of apple and black currant flavour. So what I discovered with the other the other one that I had on was a nice steady retrieve and you get a nice nice tail wobble off it. I think I'm just gonna it's gonna take a bit of tinkering to get things the way I want it, so I need to discover the right rig and things to go for it, but I'll give it a go, see what this is like. Did you miss one there or I 
He's straight into my spot. <laughs> oh, I've taught you well. Not good enough though. <laughs> First fish on the chads. Apple and black current. Look at that. Third time lucky. Pretty sure that was the same fish that hit it three times. There we go. They work. Taking a bit of tinkering just to get the settings the way I want it. But thank you for playing, Pike. I'll let you go. So yeah, as I said, a few issues with the first one, but I think that was the I had a double stinger on and it just it didn't react well. They're only 18 centimeter baits, so the double stingers just it's just they're not made for them. Wasn't swimming right. Single stinger. This is a carbon one from Savage Gear. Seems to be a lot more effective. Nice steady retrieve, get plenty of tail wobble. Not so much when you slow down. It does sink head first as well, which can be a, a sort of a, a retrieve tactic in its own right as well. But um, yeah, there we go. Holding up to the teeth marks as well, which is good. Yeah, let's go, let's get another one. This is what happens when you get the city boy into the country. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Just remember, you've no weight on your lure, no? Ah, it is. It's, it's quite weedy, like so. Go on ahead, you have first cast. So I'm just going to stick with the. The apple and black current one here for a couple of casts and then we'll change it over, see what the other ones are like. Making sure they're all swimming alright. One little in, yeah? Oh, I know. Just checking, you, you didn't miss that monster that I caught there. Okay, so on to a new one. Bit of a strange colour this one. Mixed it with copper on like a pearl white. So created quite a nice pattern with it. Haven't given it a name or anything, but I did have a cast with it. And it swims really really well this one. So I think I think I've cracked it. Really almost like a goby shad that the way it rolls. But yeah, the way to fish it, definitely single stinger. Said these are salvage gear ones, carbon trace. Shallow rigged and that's, it swims perfect then. Just took a bit of tinkering. I'm not gonna lie, I did panic when the first one I put on with the double stinger and it didn't swim right at all. But at the end of the day, it's only an 18 centimeter lure. They're not really designed for a double stinger, so. It was just me trying something different. But at the minute that's swimming really, really, really nice. Awesome. Right, let's get up this. This weed line just before Ronan comes up. So we're covering the fish before he comes up. Just like that. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Literally was about to say that's us. That is a spot where I do tend to hit quite a few fish over the over the times I fished here. Lost one there. I lost one. 
Right, let's get it back out again before he comes up. Oh, there we go. Oh, on the smelt. That's good fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That was it, right in close to the side. It's not even really a good fish, that's just fighting quite well. There's this smelt shad sticking right out of its mouth. Awesome. Do you want to come up and touch it, Rona? <laughs> Nine pound, maybe? It's a really nice fish, that actually. There we go, smelt shot, doing the business. Chunky fish, really, really, really nice. And absolutely thin and perfect. Thank you for playing. About nine pound. Okay, my favourite, motor oil. Um, really, really, really nice pattern to these ones. Nice yellowy tinge. So this is going to be what we're going to use now. All of the bites so far have all been on in sort of bright colours. In fairness, there is a big yellow tail on this motor oil, so it still probably counts as a as bright. But I've had two fish then, Roland's had one, and I lost one as well, so we're getting a bit of action, even if the weather's crap. We're still getting a few hits here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Not a not a big take that at all. But of course, motor oil. What else? He's fairly lightly hooked this one, so I don't think I'll lift him in. If I can just He didn't like that. Problem is trying to do things they got left handed. Right, come back, let's throw it. Okay, motor oil. Tick. Okay, first leg done. And we're now onto the second lake. Mainstream lures are getting beat 4 1 by the handmade ones. Also, Simon 4 Ronan 1. But anyway, new lake. It's rain stop, which is good. It's flat calm. It's really not proper pike weather. Um, but it's good to get out. 
He's making a rush to get into the good spot, so I need to hurry up. Anyway, new lake. Let's see what we can get out of this one. You had fish on the jerk bit here, didn't you? Yeah. Scabby looking one. Here it doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter the size, the day, the oh, numbers okay. came. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna shout. That's just one where you close your eyes and hope for the best. There you go, thank you for playing. He doesn't know he's released. That's the first one on the roach pattern. That was a proper tech, you know, a felt the tech, mm. split second and then a strike as opposed to just a wee nibble. Looks good here, doesn't it? Mm. You can go you can go right in there, see there's like a bit of a bit of a drop off to your Not too far now because it will go silty. I like this this particular part of it because it's shallow as well. Sometimes the takes you can get are mad, you know, like real proper T-bone side on 100 mile hour takes. Does it? Yeah. Do you notice I haven't cast into your spot today? Have you been getting about? Uh, you probably should, like, somebody's got to cast in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you want me to do. I'm letting you go first. I'm letting you cast first. I'm <laughs> this one's got a load of spawning damage on it. It's got the face ripped off him. Somebody's had a go at him. Right, so that is a couple of fish now on the roach pattern, so I think we'll change it, try something different. Maybe go back to the motor oil one, just because. Literally, as I'm saying that, I don't know why I'm putting the stinger back into the, the bait. A lot of insect life on the top of the water there, do you see it? Yeah. With all the fry jumping out of the water, look. Yeah, man. Yeah. Any size? Yeah, better than the last one. Do you need the net? Yeah, it should be alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, you sure? Good man. Six two. Okay, home time. That was it. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed that. That was uh, that was good fun. Um, really enjoyable actually catching fish on my own lures that I made. Um, single stinger, that's the way to do it. Obviously I took a bit of tinkering at the start to figure out the right way that I wanted them to swim and whatnot. Double stinger just wasn't very effective. So yeah, single stinger. Um, Savage Gear do really good ones there, which are uh, a carbon ones. Um, but yeah, castnorthangland.com, that's going to be the, the web shop that we've got added to the channel. So by all means, if you want to have a look at some of the lures yourself, try them out. Um, I would really appreciate it. There's also going to be other things added eventually as well. We've got other trade accounts with different brands and different lures. And there's going to be lots of terminal tackles. So it's effectively, it's just going to be a web shop for you to go and buy all of your predatory products. And uh, yeah. That's going to be run by yours truly, so please do come and show a bit of support and, and hopefully you find something you like. Um, seven fish I ended up on. Uh, Ronan ended up in three, but good day out all the same. I hope you've enjoyed the video. There's going to be lots more coming on the way. Good few things happening with the boat as well, which are going to get hopefully a bit of content on. And as I said, as always, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Castnorthangland.com. Don't forget, come and check it out.